Imagine a humanoid robot that will be able to do all your boring, repetitive, and dangerous tasks. You don't even have to imagine that anymore, because during Tesla's AI Day event, Elon Musk said that in 2022, Tesla will build a prototype humanoid robot. The highly anticipated Tesla AI Day brought even more announcements in the field of computing, AI, and robotics. These announcements are important, as they help to back Elon Musk's claims that Tesla is far more than just an electric car maker. It is more of a company that is deep into AI activities and hardware, both on the training level and interference level. Elon Musk nearly broke the internet once again during the recent event. So in this video, we're going to take you through all the major highlights that were announced during this exciting day. The most interesting and important highlight of the AI Day event was towards the end when Elon Musk announced that his company's latest development would be a humanoid robot. The humanoid robots, known as the Tesla bots, will have a prototype ready next year, according to Musk. The humanoid Tesla robot is 5 feet and 8 inches tall and weighs about 125 pounds and can deadlift an impressive 150 pounds. Its face will also have a screen to display relevant information on it, and it can walk at about 5 miles per hour. The robot is said to leverage Tesla's experience with their factory automated machine and also some software and hardware that powers the Tesla autopiloted models. Musk, who has recently spoken out repeatedly about his fears of runaway artificial intelligence, said that the Tesla bot is intended to be friendly, but that the company is designing the machine at a mechanical level, so that you can run away from it and most likely overpower it. Yikes. The Tesla bot is created and designed to do the work that people hate the most. This includes repetitive and dangerous tasks at the Tesla or SpaceX factories, and Musk mentioned, I think essentially in the future, physical work will be done by a choice. If you want, you can do it. He also mentioned that the Tesla bot will be able to grab your groceries for you and perform other menial tasks. Musk says that Tesla is already the world's largest robotics company due to its manufacturing process and its autonomous driving features. So this was naturally the next step for them to take. Rather than strictly using their computer vision products on their cars, Musk wanted to create something that could be of more use to society as a whole. The robot will be sharing the same full self-driving computer chips found in Tesla cars, as well as use similar sensors to be able to react to real-world events. Because it's using similar technology, it's going to have a major head start when compared to competitors who are creating robots from scratch. The CEO said that the main reason that Tesla has decided to create the humanoid robot is because they already have all the tech to do it, and that if Tesla doesn't do it, someone else will, and they would rather do it safely themselves. Drawings of the robot were shown towards the climax of the company's AI Day event, but the robot mannequin that was on stage was not a working model. Tesla's known for their many incredible ideas that don't quite pan out in the real world. Things like a solar-powered supercharger network, battery swapping, or robotic snake-style chargers. So who knows if the Tesla humanoid robot will actually really come to fruition. If it does, I know it will be in better hands of Tesla than other major companies. Earlier in the event, a vision-based approach to autonomous driving was introduced once again. The vision-based approach uses neural networks to control the car and allows the car to function anywhere on Earth. It achieves the vision-based approach through the autopilot system. Andre Kapathy, Tesla's head of AI, describes the vision-based approach as an architecture similar to an animal built from scratch. The animal then learns how to move around, how to sense its environment, and how to act on instinct. It does this smartly and autonomously based on what it sees. He also showed the development stages of Tesla's neural network, and how the first part of the car's brain, that is, the visual context of the car, is designed, following broader neural network architectures. He claims that this allows the information flow in the car to be more systematic. He also says that Tesla was building all the mechanical components of the car, the nervous system, which is believed to have all the electrical components, the brain of the autopilot, and most importantly, the synthetic visual cortex, which aims to solve the visual problems of the computer. In the actual sense, Tesla has two main problems regarding their computer vision-based approach to autonomous driving. One is a problem of signs or warning marks that appeared earlier on the road. The other problem is the temporal occlusion of roads. To handle these two problems, the Tesla engineers went back to a special recurring network video model. 
that it's so different parts of the model keep track of different aspects of the road, creating a cache of data models that the car can refer to while making future predictions about the road. The next top highlight in the Tesla AI Day event is the full Tesla self-driving system. It started at around 40 minutes into the waiting room with a video demonstration kicking it all off. It was about the company's soon to come fully self-driving system. In the demo, the driver goes about his normal business of the day, sets his destination on the car's navigation system, double clicks the stalk on the starting column to confirm his input, and the vehicle seems to pull into traffic. It did all of this on its own. Not just that, it negotiated intersections, signs, and warnings on its own, and did the same with stop signs and traffic lights. While on its route, the vehicle avoided pedestrians and made both right and left turns. Meanwhile, the driver's casually keeping his fingertips on the steering wheel of the car, which is in no doubt a requirement after investigations into Tesla's claims that their autopilot system is not fully self-driven. This is true, because right now, Tesla's fully self-driving system is not actually technically fully self-driving. But at Tesla's AI Day event, Musk believed that the technology would advance and would be even better than the average driver. The bulk of this highlight showed how engineers from Tesla's AI are working to improve the safety and the comfort of the fully self-driving system. To briefly explain, the full self-driving system consists of a bird's eye view navigation control. It starts with a three-directional vector space that is achieved by the car's special sensors from eight cameras. These cameras feed into a single virtual environmental prediction model. The eight-camera view, the three-dimensional vector space, and the single virtual environmental prediction model help to generate the car's almost 360-degree vision. These features will enhance Tesla's fully self-driving system and many more. This leads us to another highlight in Tesla's AI Day event, the unveiling of the Chip to Train Dojo. But first, who or what is Dojo? Well, do you remember earlier when we mentioned a supercomputer called Dojo, which most of Tesla's AI architectures are dependent on? Dojo is a neural network training supercomputer believed by Musk to be able to process a lot of data from camera images four times faster and better than any computing system in the world. They're currently planning for it to be ready by next year. The Tesla director unveiled the computer chip that was designed and created by Tesla. The chip was designed to be used to run and train Dojo, the supercomputer. The name of the training chip is D1, and it runs on a 7 nanometer processing technology. It's got GPU level compute and CPU connectivity, twice the I.O. bandwidth of the current gold standard. The Tesla director went on to elaborate on the reasons as to why the production of the chip was done in-house, which is to prevent the Samsung chip saga, resulting in Tesla having to rewrite most of the vehicle's software after substituting for alternative chips. Aside from the problem of limited availability, another reason why the production of the chip was done in-house was to increase the chip's bandwidth and decrease their latency. This, of course, would increase their AI performance. According to the director, the Dojo Trainer chip will be the fastest AI training computer ever made. So what are all your thoughts on all of these announcements made by Tesla and Elon Musk? Do you think the Tesla robot will end up taking over the factory jobs that are repetitive or dangerous? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video.